Hey everybody, Keyforge Corner here, and oh boy, have we done it. I think, I think what has happened in Nuremberg really, really proves uh, quite a few things about this game. Uh, and if not about the game, at least about the fact that people make mistakes. It happens. <laughs> but, who this is a, this is a big one though, like, oh my god. So if you saw my video yesterday, I talked about Marek and if he would or wouldn't capture Amber if he was invulnerable. And here now, uh, the same head judge, which uh, talked about that matter, uh, apparently ruled that Ronnie wrist clocks. When he gets played and your opponent has exactly seven Amber, he would only steal one Amber. And I just, I mean, after I heard that one, I just, I just didn't know what to say. I, I did hear this question before, and I also addressed this confusion in my ruling video about Ronnie wrist clocks. I didn't get the confusion, but right, watch the video if you'd like to, uh, uh, to see. But I honestly already, I don't already get this because the card, even though you might think about, okay, resolve as much as you can and resolve it in order, and you think to yourself, okay, if I have to resolve this in order, then I do it sentence by sentence, right? <sighs> no, normally, yeah, 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 you can try to resolve things like that, can't you? But Ronnie wrist clock obviously says instead at the end there. <laughs> Uh, so, so Ronnie Risco is a play creature. One sentence says steal one. The other says if your opponent has seven or more amber, steal two instead. And whilst this obviously seems like the clearest example of a keyforge when like, Mwah, très bien, you finally understood how to write a card so it's clear for everyone, apparently people still got confused. <laughs> and and I, I could understand like people who just got into the game or uh, other people just want some more clarity because, you know, Keyforge already is just a confusing game. But a head judge. <laughs> this is, this is like, uh, this is on a new level. I mean, I'm not saying I never make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes when they're in the ruling spectrum of Keyforge. Uh, except of course our, uh, Lord and Savior Brad. Uh, he would never make a mistake. However, when it comes to, uh, us mortals, uh, we, we do make mistakes and, uh, <laughs> This really, this really shows it. Oh my god. He clearly says instead. I, I mean, wh when you go to like discussion threads online about Keyforge ruling, you do it on Discord and Reddit or, I don't know, Facebook. It's apparently another place where people like to do that. Uh, but most people discussing this are just like, well, it says instead. So what are you doing? <laughs> so a lot of people are uh, unhappy about this. And uh, I'm sure if our uh, Lord and Savior Brad would say something about this, uh, he would also... He would also like to uh, take our side. I I'm sure he would. <laughs> but yeah, this is the whole Ronnie wrist clocks debacle we had this time. I, I, I guess, I guess here in Keyforge we just can't have good things. We, we can't just have judge rulings, like like head judge rulings, and just be like, "Cool, okay, this this took a load of my of my uh, of my chest." We, we can't have that. No, here in Keyforge, a head judge says something, literally everyone panic. Just it creates so much confusion. <laughs> Like, there's not enough confusion already. Anyway, I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be. It's just really ridiculous to me to see uh, even these type of things happening. Uh, but what was I expecting? It was just the head judge. <laughs> head judges always make mistakes with keyboard. Ah, oh, oh boy. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to discuss this whole mess more in the comments below, I will gladly. Uh, you know, I'm the Keyforge Corner. I like to discuss. And uh, I just hope you guys will keep on forging those keys. And I'll see you tomorrow.